and here is our newest project it's actually for that community up there they just have no access so we've been given access through the neighboring community to come through here because we are going to be clearing this pond dam off and putting a new overflow in it because this one is currently um, falling apart it's uh separated so as you can tell the uh, pipes are falling apart and the dam is about ready to bust so we got to take all that off take all that all out take all the trees off of the pond dam it's already been drained well it was drained and fish removed because we're going to have to drain it dry to put the new overflow in so it's going to be a little tight up here with the 220 looks like it's only about 8 feet wide maybe 10 sewer line go there to there okay good nice little party area back here yeah it'll get opened up here soon when I rip all these trees out so that's what happens to these they build these ponds and then they get neglected And then they become overgrown messes. It's actually a nice little pond. Got a nice walkway and pier. So, there's all the trees to take out. I'm out here bright and early this morning. We got the 220 moved here from the pond disaster project and this job was on the way home so we brought it by here to do the work
track down the pond dam. Because I'm not going to be able to work on that angle right there.
find it. And they become so big that they couldn't go down to the pond dam and maintain anything. Which is normal. People think about planting a buffer and then they have no way to maintain it.
Kind of see the overflow a little better now just the old brick box dam's pretty narrow right there where it was washing out and i've made pretty good progress I had a good little viewing party there at one time everybody out here watching me they get to see it before y'all do well i don't have a whole lot more to do on the end of this dam one big tree to take down and uh get all this cleaned up load it out
wheel around. I think I can get her down with. Make sure I'm not knocking over anything important.
trying to cross that little eight foot wide section right there. I'm going through the ditch down here. It's a little bit awkward because it's uh, kind of a slope of rock and it's muddy below me and trees I'm trying to clear and work on the slope. That way I've got room to land when I get up here. I should probably just grab all this lay it over here out of the way. Give me a little bit more room. Pile all that up out of the way right there. Break this out just a little bit to soften that transition. We can grate it back later. Let's see if this thing will come up out of here. Wrong way. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh, ball backwards. We're at a bad angle. I got it though. Well, that was interesting. All of the dirt from the floorboard went behind the seat. That's how steep I was. I'll probably put some brush back in that creek channel before I uh, try to get that through there. Pond dam is open now. We've gotten everything cleared on each side. The overflow went all the way up to the, the spillway cleared on that end. This was all that was left holding it, about six feet, seven feet. That looks a lot better through there. I'm just kind of slowly knocking these bricks off, letting it drain down. I'll rip off one more before I leave and that'll pretty well, pretty much drain it down. We'll dig all this up, put the new overflow in, and 
haul some dirt in here to fix that washout. Haul some more dirt in here to fix this dam, make it a little wider. Regrade everything and seed and straw it. That way they can mow it and hopefully maintain it a little bit better. It's got a about a 30 foot wide spillway here, so that's good.